So there was a recent announcement that was actually surprising that continued to leave the industry shocked. And this one is actually a little bit shocking because of how crazy this is and it was something that many people didn't see. Now, I'm going to be covering two major announcements in this video, so make sure you stick around so you understand exactly what they are. So the first surprising announcement was the fact that OpenAI recently announced that OpenAI and Humanoid Robots, we are collaborating with Figure Robot to expand our multimodal models to robotic perception, reasoning, and interaction. So essentially, they're combining their efforts in AI with another humanoid robot company in order to bring together next generation AI models. And this is a huge announcement because this isn't just some like OpenAI investment because previously there was essentially some news surrounding the OpenAI investment into the company, but they're actually doing a collaboration and that's very, very different. So the discernment between these two is actually a very, very big thing because it now means that we are likely to get the next evolution in AI and robotics collaboration. So take a look at what OpenAI have said because their statement that they just, you know, pretty much released, like I think two or three hours ago, is pretty interesting. So they said, okay, in conjunction with this investment, Figure and OpenAI have entered into a collaboration agreement to develop next generation AI models for humanoid robots. Combining OpenAI's research with Figure's deep understanding of robotics, hardware and software. This collaboration aims to help accelerate Figure's commercial timeline by enhancing the capabilities of humanoid robots to process and reason from a language. That is pretty crazy because now they're in a collaboration agreement to develop the next generation AI models for humanoid robots. So I'm thinking that we're, you know, going to have to see what kind of systems are going to be developed with OpenAI because OpenAI literally has the best talent in the game when it does come to developing, you know, AI models. And, you know, if you look at their track record with what they've done recently with video, if you look at what they've done with music, if you look at what they've done with the course LLMs like GPT-4, I have no doubt that this is going to be a really, really, really fruitful collaboration between Figure and OpenAI because they just simply have the best team. And Figure's robotics has been rapid rapidly, rapidly, rapidly accelerating. So I'm going to read some more of the press statement. And if you haven't seen um, Figure's recent demo, this is their fully autonomous recent demo. And essentially, the reason this is so crazy is because this company has been moving, like I said before, very, very quickly. And the company started around 21 months ago. So that's just a little over a year and six months ago. Um, and it's proving that they know what they're doing. They've got a lot of people from a lot of the top labs and they've managed to move at nearly not an exponential rate obviously but they're moving at with such pace that it shows that whatever's going on in their lab they're doing things right because they're catching up to major major players now um of course there are some other you know automated robots out there but on the spectrum of real you know humanoid robotics this is by far the one that does seem to be moving the quickest in terms of where they started to where they are now now why and the reason this actually shocked tesla and other investors is i'm going to show you guys later on in the video because because this announcement from OpenAI and another company that did a recent demo that most people didn't see is absolutely incredible. So if we take a look at this uh, press release, you can see here that essentially they say in conjunction with this investment, Figure and OpenAI have entered into a collaboration agreement to develop next generation AI models for humanoid robots, combining OpenAI's research with Figure's deep understanding of robotics, hardware, and software. The collaboration aims to help accelerate Figure's commercial timeline by enhancing the capabilities of humanoid robots and process and reason from language. So you can see here that we're getting that final collaboration between these models. And you're thinking, how does this actually affect um, you know, Tesla? Because you have to understand that they are developing the Optimus robot, but the Optimus robot, whilst it is really, really good, I'm pretty sure that this is a really, really surprising announcement. And there were also some other things that people were stating as well. People were stating that it's interesting to see the shift towards figure. I guess no one is on team Elon robots, question mark, but indeed, the humanoid robots are coming and much sooner than what people expect because China wants to start mass producing them already in 2025. And someone responds, yeah, Figure's recent end-to-end -end demos were far more impressive than Tesla's tele-operated videos and also a huge deal that OpenAI chose Figure over anyone else. And this is coming from an investor in Tesla and of course not Figure. So that's why I posed the question, is Tesla losing this race? Now, 
I think that question is obviously just playing devil's advocate. I don't think Tesla's actually going to lose this race. I don't think Elon Musk is to be underestimated. But I do think these other companies are showing how quickly they are moving. And it's definitely putting some pressure on the Tesla team to kind of, you know, speed up what they're doing. But if I'm being honest, they're already moving at a, you know, really, really great pace. And what we've seen from them since they started showing demos in around September 2022, I think they're just doing an absolutely amazing job. Now, essentially, what's crazy about this was that, um, you know, you can see that it says this is a statement from OpenAI. That's why I wanted to make this video because this is actually really cool. So they stated that we've always planned to come back to robotics and we see a path with figure to explore what humanoid robots can achieve when powered by highly capable multimodal models. We're blown away by figures progress to date and we look forward to working together to open up new possibilities for how robots can help in everyday life, said Peter Willinda, VP of Product and Partnerships at OpenAI. So you can clearly see that like either they're going to develop a new generative AI system, it might not even be generative AI, it's going to be some kind of AI system, you know, completely autonomous likely. Um, and this AI system, whatever it's going to be, they are going to use this to, you know, in conjunction with the robotics to make make the very very next generation of you know humanoid robotics much more efficient and what's crazy is that you know this is opening eyes expression in robotics this is one of the ways that they're getting back into robotics and of course they said we've always planned to come back to this so this is why this is such a huge announcement and of course the bit that i've highlighted there we're blown away by figures progress today and if you've been someone who's been paying attention you can clearly understand why figure have you know blown away absolutely you know everyone in terms of what they're doing and i mean the ceo he's been tweeting some stuff saying that you know we're really surprised by how much we're doing um and with every announcement it just honestly does continue to actually shock me so what's also crazy about figure as well is that the figure team made up of top ai robotics experts from boston dynamics tesla google DeepMind, and archer aviation has made remarkable progress in the past few months in the key areas of ai robot development robot testing and commercialization and figure recently announced its first commercial agreement with bmw manufacturing to bring humanoids into automotive production this new capital will be used strategically for scaling up ai training robot manufacturing expanding engineering headcount and advancing commercial deployment efforts so essentially you can see here that they are working with some of the top labs or the robotics experts from some of the top labs like boston dynamics tesla and google deep minds so i'm guessing that you know some of the people like all these top companies what i realized is that you know it's kind of like i don't know this is a pretty weird statement to say it's kind of like you know um if you watch soccer or if you watch nfl or if you watch you know the nba whatever you know your favorite sport may be it's like the top talent is like you know trading teams and like they're getting loaned out and all these kind of you know it's kind of like a similar marketplace where like the top talent is really really valued um and whatever you know organization they do go to they do make an impact on how that company or whatever organization it's going to be does go in the future and i think showcasing the fact that you know they, they've got experts from boston dynamics which is a really really impressive company um tesla of course another impressive company and google deep mind and of course arch aviation these companies are just some of the top labs so we can expect this company to do great things and we've already seen that as well so it's going to be pretty crazy because they're going to be now of course scaling up ai training robot manufacturing and they're going to be hiring a lot more people now of course what's crazy about this entire announcement there's some more things that you do want to see because there's another robot demo that i have to show you that this is why like everyone was blown away is this figure will leverage microsoft azure for ai infrastructure training and storage we're excited to collaborate with figure and work towards accelerating ai breakthroughs so essentially the entire thing that they want to do is accelerate these breakthroughs and that is something that we've seen happen quite a lot already now there's also additionally something i do want to show you guys because it's pretty crazy and it's the fact that this company has 80 employees and was founded 21 months ago like i said in the start this is something that is absolutely insane i mean 21 months that kind of progress is pretty incredible so i mean that ladies and gentlemen isn't even the probably the biggest announcement of this video because this announcement is pretty crazy you know opening AI saying look we're coming back to robotics we're developing a new ai system that's going to be powered by you know whatever it's going to be powered by we don't we have no idea but we do know that gpt5 and other systems may play a role in that but essentially um the ceo has actually tweeted that if it's not obvious yet figures humanoid robot is the ultimate deployment vector for agi so that is a clear statement on what they're building and where they're heading with this so they of course want to embody agi which is really 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 crazy and essentially I, that actually just reminded me of something okay this wasn't in the video but i just got reminded of something that was tweeted about the other day which is why this announcement announcement is pretty crazy so um chat gbt tweeted this my body silicone my spirit network so i'm guessing that essentially this is like a vague 
tweet that could absolutely mean nothing. But I think it's kind of fascinating how they tweeted this on the same day of the announcement because essentially, I mean, maybe it's a it's a hint and a nod towards the fact that, you know, ChatGPT or GPT-4, GPT-5, whatever kind of version it is, is eventually going to be embodied in some kind of robot. And previously, the, you know, people who are working on the products at OpenAI have said the final version of ChatGPT will not be chat. So I'm guessing it's likely going to be an actual humanoid robot. And then that's going to bring about some big questions when it does come into the sentience argument. And all those kind of questions are going to be absolutely insane. So that's why it's going to be crazy. Now, something that you do want to know is, of course, the major, major announcement that kind of blew Tesla out of the water. So um, there was this one that actually did actually shock everyone because this actually did shock me. And when you guys see this, you're gonna be like, whoa, I know I did include this in another video, but I just wanted to do this entire video because the amount of robot robotics announcements that we are getting i think you know they are very very similar robotics and ai they do you know complement each other a bit but robotics is its own space that is moving very very well you can see right here wow phoenix robot just overtook tesla's optimus phoenix is now autonomously completing tasks at human equivalent speed this is an important step on the journey to full autonomy so the video that i'm about to show you showcases how quickly this robot is moving and why this one actually did shock me because while human speed is very very hard to achieve these guys have done it autonomously and if you, even if you look at some of the other top labs you'll see that the autonomy part isn't actually there yet um, and the human speed part isn't actually there but these guys have done both which is quite surprising that we're getting this so i'm actually kind of excited because i really do want to see what other tasks these robots are going to be able to do and this is from the company sanctuary ai you can see that this is not sped up at all this is 100 percent real time it doesn't really look sped up you can see control autonomous accelerated imitation speed task type component sortation and this is date february 2024 and you can see right here that the this, this robot is sorting the stuff i guess that one did kind of fall over there and maybe it should have like you know fixed it but um it is pretty pretty surprising at how quick it is able to do this and this is not teleoperation so there's no one behind this but um this short demo shows us that the speed and fluidity of these robots are going to be absolutely incredible once we do get them in scale and i mean you can just begin to imagine what the future is going to look like if these things are completely autonomous if it has an llm embedded in it for its you know um speaking capabilities if it has a vision model like a really good one if it has like a you know huge long context window and then if it's able to do these tasks autonomously um like with an ajlx system i mean what are we really going to be dealing with here and the reason why this actually did like actually shock a lot of people when compared to tesla's optimus is because recently if you were paying attention to the uh, demo, basically Tesla Optimus in their, one of their second or third demos, they actually talked about how, you know, Optimus is capable of accelerating its arms and legs, yada, yada, yada. But the thing that they were doing, which was one of the most remarkable things, was, um, you know, Optimus doing these tasks autonomously. Now, you might not have seen that, but um, if we just do this, I'm just going to go back to here you can see that this is 1.5 times speed now i do want to you know i'm not a tesla hater i'm not you know a fanboy of any particular company but i do want to say that of course it does say 1.5 speed but in addition to that this video is actually old i think it's from 2023 so it is important that you know tesla have made probably updates since then we don't know when they're going to demo them but i just think it's quite you know shocking at how many other companies are in on this race and how they're also being able to do that effectively so i mean tesla's one here you can see its neural net runs entirely on board only using vision um, and we can see it is also able to sort these blocks as well and of course this is like an earlier version of their model so, and of course it does also deal with the dynamic reality so a question that i do want to pose for you guys is what do you think do you think sanctuary's ai's robot is much more faster much more fluid much more efficient or do you think the tesla bot is the one that is going to win the race because of course we did actually just recently get a tesla um update and there was like this uh, i guess you could see a small update to the robot in terms of the speed so this is one time speed this is really really fast and i guess you could argue that tesla's robot and i'm not sure why this thing was just glitching out there but i guess you could argue that you know tesla's overall probably going to be better because right now their robot is walking and we haven't seen the sanctuary ai robot walk yet but um i find that this humanoid robotics race is going to be really really interesting now what's also crazy about this entire thing is the fact that this isn't even the biggest announcement that is going to happen yet and this one definitely did surprise me and i really do love the design of the the tesla uh robot i don't know why i just think the design is pretty cool but um there is a really, really important thing, okay? Because, okay, big things are coming, okay? 
Ted Zhao, someone that works at Google DeepMind's robotics area, they said there will be three to four massive news coming out in the next weeks that will rock the robotics and AI space. Adjust your timelines. It will be a crazy 2024. Now, I hope this post is true because, you know, sometimes people do state that, you know, tomorrow's announcement is going to be crazy and it's a, a really subtle one. I think this one is probably going to be big considering the fact that this account doesn't kind of tweet these things and say, oh no, things are going to be crazy. So I think it's a very good chance that whatever is going to be announced is going to be crazy. And I guess these robotics companies that we're seeing are going to have another giant leap. So I'm guessing the next couple of weeks are going to be pretty crazy. And what's also crazy is that um, the other company that OpenAI invested, their other platform that they might be developing humanoid robots on is uh, that you know someone stated that new progress update on the droids dropping in four weeks so just one month look like moravik's pa paradox might be false and we just didn't have the data and that's basically him saying that look things that we thought were difficult for robots but easy for humans might just be false and now that we have some data we're going to be showing you guys some really impressive demos so um that's going to be really surprising and also there is this state of the humanoid robotics market thing so if you want to actually pay attention i'm not sure where this is from i'm pretty sure there's a tweet or there's a, i saw it on reddit um and i did see it on twitter but i'll leave a link to it if you do find it okay it says compiled by you know at this there we go it's actually at the bottom right there so you can just uh, follow those people but essentially it shows us how far all of these robots are you can see them at the top um we've got figure ai you can see that it's got llm and voice integration autonomous work demo doing useful work walking publicly shown hands and of course we've got tesla here doesn't really have the voice integration yet probably will and it mounts pilot doesn't have it yet but of course it goes to show that um you know agility robotics sanctuary AI, all of these companies are slowly moving up there um and it will be kind of interesting to see um which of these robotics companies manages to do it as well. Now, if you're wondering as well, I forgot about this. If you're wondering as well who Sanctuary AI are, they're essentially an AI company that, you know, is creating general purpose AI robots. And their mission is actually to create world robots that can actually understand the world the same way that humans do. And, you know, it involves developing AI that can perform a wide range of tasks. Essentially, they focus on, you know, leveraging these technologies to address complex challenges across various industries. And, you know, the Phoenix general purpose robot, Phoenix, stands out for its human-like capabilities, including industry-leading robotic hands with increased degrees of freedom, you know, 20 in total, that actually rival human hand dexterity. And it is designed to work safely and efficiently alongside humans, either being directly piloted, operated with pilot assist, or supervised while it's built in carbon AI system. So it actually does have an AI carbon system, which uh, I'm pretty sure they developed completely in-house. And it's an autonomous control system that actually leverages a blend of symbolic and neural reasoning. And it's designed to observe, assess, and act on tasks mimicking human cognitive functions. And this system allows for Phoenix robots to perform tasks autonomously, or with human supervision, ensuring work is done safely, efficiently, and sustainably. Now, essentially, the sanctuary has the, they also do have a world engine, although it's not detailed in provided, you know, information on many websites, they do mention that training and piloting both the physical and virtual worlds suggest that they may offer a simulation platform in which they train these robots in order to, you know, get to grips with the actual world. So this is a robot that is very, very advanced. They're moving very, very quickly. And the speed up fluidity of their recent demo definitely did actually shock a lot of people. So it will be interesting to see where this space kind of goes because now OpenAI are clearly stating that look we are now going to be doing this with humanoid robots we're collaborating with this robot to expand our multimodal models and I'm wondering if maybe these guys you know at first I was actually kind of thinking that maybe you know the One X Robotics there you know Android which looks to be really really advanced you know just based on a few screenshots that we've seen I'm wondering if these guys have hit a few hiccups because they were supposed to actually demo it last year and they just removed that from the webpage, which I found to be, you know, not surprising considering how hard robotics is. And then now OpenAI is coming out publicly stating that, look, we're now going to be combining our efforts with Figure. I'm wondering not if they're giving up on One X, but if maybe they're shifting their attention to this company just based on how quickly they've moved in the short time that they've been there. And I know that Tesla is going to be giving another update very, very soon. So I wouldn't be surprised if that does improve as well so with all that being said let me know what you guys think about this new announcement do you think that elon musk is left stunned do you think that opening eye has shocked the industry or do you think this is just your standard announcement but either way one thing that you need to be aware of and waiting for is the new announcements coming in a few weeks and if you want to be aware don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can see all of that good stuff